how nerdy am I? Well, I sometimes wonder what my favourite tram stop would be. That's how nerdy I am. I haven't decided, by the way, but a strong contender would be Woodside. And that's because of this. You see, Woodside wasn't always a tram stop. Like many light rail schemes, the London tram network makes heavy use of old railways. South London had a whole mess of railway lines that weren't always sensible. It's very complicated, but essentially the situation was that you had four big railway companies working with a lot of smaller companies, trying to snatch up as much territory as they could. They built lines to stake their claim on a place, they built lines to prevent other companies from building lines, they built lines to steal traffic from other lines. And sometimes they built lines seemingly just because they could. So what had happened here was this. The Mid-Kent Railway had built a line from Lewisham to Beckenham, which opened at the beginning of 1857. The idea being that it would run on into Mid-Kent. But then the London Chatham and Dover Railway built their own line that blocked that. The South Eastern Railway, who all but owned the Mid-Kent, decided to make lemonade out of lemons and therefore built a line from New Beckenham to Addiscombe on the edge of Croydon, where they hoped they could steal traffic from the London, Brighton and South Coast Railway. In 1864, that line opened. In 1871, a station was opened at Woodside. One thing you can say for the railways in this area was that they stimulated the growth of the suburbs, and South Norwood had expanded to the point where a station at Woodside was justified to serve it. The station also served the nearby Croydon race course, which had opened in 1866. Initially, the station was pretty basic. Timber platforms, no footbridge, only one shelter on the up platform. But the Addiscombe line was, it seemed, a good investment, and traffic on the line steadily increased. In 1885, a new line opened, a collaborative venture between the South Eastern Railway and the London, Brighton and South Coast Railway. This was called the Woodside and South Croydon Joint Railway, running to Sandersted. It was clear to the Board of Trade that Woodside, as it stood, simply would not do. So in that same year, 1885, Woodside was rebuilt in a more substantial form, which we can see today. The single wooden shelter was replaced with a brick building and canopies on both platforms. There was a bay platform to enable trains to shuttle between here and Addiscombe, and a ramp for offloading horses. There was a clock, and you can see where it was very clearly. Like most stations, it had a goods yard, and you can also see very clearly where there used to be a shop. In 1890, the racetrack closed. This had been a source of traffic, but only fairly intermittently, so it wasn't the end of the world for Woodside. In 1908, Woodside was renamed to Woodside and South Norwood, with the company no doubt hoping that passengers living in South Norwood would take the hint. In 1923, the line came under the ownership of the Southern Railway, who electrified it in 1926. Apart from the branch to Sandersted, which had never been very popular. In 1934, they changed their minds and electrified the Sandersted branch as well. Really, it was the Second World War that would ultimately mark the beginning of the long decline of Woodside Station, which, by the way, reverted to its old name in 1944. The Southern Railway ended through services into London, with the branch being served by a shuttle service from Elmer's End. People got out of the habit of using the Addiscombe and Sandersted branches. In 1948, the line was nationalised and British Railways reinstated London services. But no one used them, so they were stopped in 1950. The fact was, times were changing. More people owned cars, and from the 1960s onwards, Croydon became more of a commercial hub in its own right. British Railways had a rather defeatist mindset towards unremunerative branch lines, which was most of them. By the 1970s, the routes through Woodside were almost embarrassingly underused, with as few as seven passengers getting off the train at Addiscombe in rush hour. In 1983, the Sandersted line was closed, by which time trains to Addiscombe were sometimes completely empty. I mean, I'm a very pro-rail person, but even I can see where BR was coming from here. 
Woodside became an unstaffed but oversized halt. The last train ran on the 31st of May 1997. But that's because the line was about to be reincarnated. A new plan was afoot. The Tramlink. Croydon and the towns around it were in desperate need of decent transport links. In 1986, London Transport and British Rail's latest toy was the concept of light rail. At the time, the Docklands Light Railway was under construction and it looks like this could provide a template for improving rail links at a relatively low cost. Croydon was a perfect test bed. It needed better transport links and it had lots of underused or disused railways. The old Sandersted branch was a case in point and it was acquired from British Rail for conversion to become Line 1 of the Tramlink. In a sense, the line got flipped around. Sandersted had been the extremity of a line from Charing Cross. Under the Tramlink, Elmer's End was the extremity, with the Sandersted branch now extending into central Croydon. Woodside was not to go completely, but it would be demoted to a tram stop. The old platforms were demolished, and new, shorter, lower platforms were built about halfway along the site of the old ones. The first trams ran on the 30th of May 2000, almost exactly three years after the last trains. The tram rapidly proved successful, with 17.3 million users between opening and September 2001. Woodside sees a weekday service approximately every five minutes in each direction between Wimbledon and Beckenham Junction and Elmer's End, which is pretty good going for a line whose trains once ran empty. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, please do click on the like button down there and consider subscribing for more. I'd like to talk a bit more about the Addiscombe branch in a future video, which has an abandoned track bed and more ruins. So, that's something I hope we can look forward to. I'd like to thank my donors on Ko-fi and Patreon, and here on YouTube, you are the Croydon connection to my disused line. And I'll see you all again very soon. Cheerio.